Hi and welcome to this new video in which I will try and explain how to use the Son of RF bridge with uh, the Modix. Um, I will assume you uh, already know how to flash a uh, Son of uh, device and use Termite to send the backlog commands um, for connecting it to Wi-Fi, your MQTT broker and such. Uh, and you already have set up the Modix with an MQTT broker. Uh, if you have not, I will uh, put links to those videos in the uh, description so you can watch those first. Um, one note I will give is that uh, when you will, are using Termite to uh, send the backlog commands to your Sonoff device, uh, you need to go to the settings and change the uh, baud rate because your uh, Sonoff RF bridge will work, work with uh, baud rate uh, 19,200. Uh, and all the other son of devices will work with uh, uh, 115,200. So you will need to change your baud rate for termite to work. Uh, but with that said, if you have flashed uh, Tasmoda on your uh, son of RF bridge, which is pretty easy, you can. The uh, I soldered this uh, pin header on here. Uh, and the button over here is GPIO zero. So you uh, connect to this header, uh, uh, hold the button and then uh, plug in your USB uh, to serial uh, adapter into your computer. Uh, and then you will be able to flash it. Um, and I cut off, uh, cut off uh, a little bit of uh, the pins. So this white thing uh, can be folded like it was originally um, but when you have flashed your uh, RF bridge you uh, have to go to configure module and search for the son of bridge and then save and it will restart um, I assume you already have your MQTT broker settings uh, configured uh, and you know uh, your way into the modex I will get mine over here once you have uh, flashed your son of rf bridge we need to prepare uh, the modix so in the modix uh, we need to go into our uh, hardware tab and we need to uh, create a new dummy um, which is um, electra uh, actual uh, encounter and we need to give that a name so we will get uh, this because uh, this uh, type of device can work with the uh, S value uh, that the RF bridge will send. So now that we have that and we know our IDX, you can see that by going into the log and here in your browser thingy, uh, but also on under devices you can check for your IDX of your uh, device and mine is this one which is IDX522 and you need to go into your sort of RF bridge configuration and then configure Demotics and fill in all of these with your Demotics IDX. Once you have done that uh, and you get for example the RF uh, thing you want to connect to Demotics and you will go to the log of the Modix. Over here you will see everything that is incoming into your Demodix instance. So now when I press my uh, button on my uh, key, you will see that uh, over here, MQTT uh, topic, uh, Demodix in message, IDX522, which is the IDX, and we see an S value. That, that's the RF key value that is sent from your RF device to the Modix. Um, but we can't really do uh, anything with that. So we need to go to uh, scripts. Uh, we need to create a script. I already have made one. Uh, let me see. Here, RF bridge, uh, which uh, I basically got from this forum post. Uh, it will look for, uh, it will uh, trigger when the RF bridge device 
uh, updates. So make sure this part is the same as the name of your device uh, you just created. And then uh, over here is the uh, switch you want to trigger uh, with the uh, command given from your RF remote, uh, for example. And then uh, if item raw data, this number, which matches with, if we go into the console over here, which matches with this S value, which we also found in the Domotics log. If we check, let's see, where was it? 522 two, over here, the S value. I already am lost here, 522 two, S value. This value needs to be put in here. Uh, because every RF thingy has a unique value and then you can do that one. But if you want to do another, you can just do uh, else if item dot raw data and then one equals then switch two dot to toggle switch and then between these you need to put in the other number for example this and we need to make another local switch two equals dz dot devices and then your device name that you want to trigger by the other uh, want to be triggered by the other code so that's fairly straightforward um but uh, we want to uh also be able to uh trigger uh rf things from our son of our bridge because we can learn 16 different uh, codes so what you want to do is and i've got that from the uh, tesmota wiki you want to uh, do a backlog command which is um, rf key and then the key number and then a uh, parameter so for example i want to learn a code from a uh, a remote uh, to my to one of the buttons over here I will go to the console and type in RF key and note the uh, the caption uh, letters and I want to learn it to key 2 and I want to learn data so I will put in 2 and type enter and you will help here beep your uh, son of our bridge and you hold you will send the code that you want to be learning and then you see uh, over here uh, started learning and when i pressed my button it said learned so now on key two if you push this button it will send the code it just learned so uh, you can use that in uh, domotics if you want to uh, send uh, the uh, code learn to for uh, uh, to for example this button from the Modix with a push button in the Modix, which we can create fairly easily uh, by using the uh, hardware dummy, uh, create a light switch or a switch. Let's see which one do we need. I'm searching for a switch. Switch, switch, switch. And uh, RF1 test, I will call it for now. And it should be noted over here in switches. Uh, right, I can do edits. And it is a, simply a push on button. And in the on action, we need to put this, uh, this command. Well, what this basically does, it is, uh, this, is the, this is the IP of your RF bridge. And you will send the command RF key one, which over here will do stuff. And then the parameter one, send default data. So uh, RF key one will be uh, this button, where RF key two will be this one, three, four, 
and so on. Uh, and one uh, percentage 20 uh, will represent a space and then the one uh, represents this one which will send the default RF data for RF key X. So if we put in this copy and paste it into our on action and save it. Now I will, if I push this button, my RF bridge will send the code that is learned to button one. And we can verify by looking in the console and see that we just sent that command. Um, so I will try to leave all the uh, links I referenced to uh, in the description uh, also with this uh, code. Uh, I hope you learned something, this was helpful and I hope to see you next time. Bye.